Welcome to part two. We're going to do the other half of the second part of this level. So about a, about a quarter of the level all told. It's only a little under half of the time though. There will be quite a lot to do. For instance, I'm not quite finished with this side. Still a couple things up here to grab. Assuming I can remember where they are. Ah, here's one. You'll note this is only worth 50 loot. Well, the thing is that the special loot and the actual value of special loot are two entirely unrelated things. Rather unfortunate. But I suppose it's for the prestige, rather than the cost. Now, partly I'm just going around up here to show off the second level. But also I recall that there's a book up here somewhere which has a very interesting insight into the previous owners of this mansion. Unfortunately, I'm having the devil's luck finding it. Take a nap. Ugh. You deserve it. Sounds like there's someone over here. Not on this floor, though. Oh, hey there. Warm enough? Glad you didn't fall forward. That would have been awkward. Alright, he's far enough away. And that takes me back there. It's much easier to reach one end of the map from the other than it used to be. At least it makes these episodes shorter. Be that I could use a break after Soul Forge. By the way, that notice on the wall there, I think I forgot to look at it, but what it says is that the priestess Diane suspects that someone will steal the bronze beetle, so they better look out for interlopers. <coughs> Weren't terribly good at it though. Oh, there she goes. Where she stops, no one knows. So I can take this path to bypass both the guards and the lock. Uh, someone's down there in the sleeping room. Seems rather still to be sleeping, though. Especially with his sword on the ground nearby. Yep, he's dead. Now, how the hell did that happen?
there's the beetle. That one's actually worth quite a bit. Put me up a good 10% or more. By the way, you may be wondering exactly why I am going to be carrying around a body. Well, I am not going to tell you until the time is right. So deal with it. I will, however, toss it down some stairs. Uh -uh. Good fun. Might look like it's the person I fell I down. Know what them grass knows. I these know what them moon knows. <laughs> Do you know what the shadow knows? Because the shadow knows. Huh? Oh. <gasps> you're gonna take a nap. Ritual of the root. Givers first the water. Givers next the moss. Givers last the blood is the bloods of the fleshes. A ritual for Jack Knoll's paw, huh? Looks like I'm on the right track. That's what I need the dead body for. Again, this is a pacifist run. So I could take an unconscious body over there and kill it. But I'm not. Especially not with such a harvest of already dead pagans just sort of littering the ground. No idea how that happened. I have no idea if it's uh, issues with the programming and then falling down, or if they're just sort of there littering the ground in the first place. Uh, here's an interesting diary. Unfortunately, it's not the one I'm looking for. I've dealt with pretty much everything else. Oh, crap. At least it didn't hurt. Ah. Now, what I was going to do is deal with that tree beast you've probably heard grumbling around. Just chuck this into the water here. Oh. Oh, good. I was afraid it would get stuck on that rafter for a second. Now, just be a good monster and walk over that little yellow dot. Damn, didn't kill it. Doesn't look like an aim directly at it either. At least not from here. like it's running this way. I still can't see it from here, though. I'll go take the other bridge. I'm still on the lookout for that book, too. Ah, there it is. Stand still. Thank you. Looks like the explosive mine took out the biggest part of it. So it only took one more arrow to finish it off. Jack Noss Paul. Number two, to find that book I'm looking for. Uh, B. 
been here. I suppose it must be in one of the more broken areas that I didn't explore thoroughly. Maybe it's over here. No, doesn't look like it. I'm having trouble. I didn't find it in the practice run. Otherwise, I would have made a beeline for it. But, I've played this game enough to know it's around here somewhere. Maybe it's. Aha, uh -huh, there it is. Oh, crap. Well, it didn't do any damage, so let's go back up and <laughs> try again. Oh, what? Oh, oh damn it. Try again. <laughs> uh, don't fall this time. Good. Now you'll be able to read this in the thread. It's really fairly interesting. It ties in with that one conversation back in the tunnels. About how the pagans have learned how to control people's minds. It's also going on about those... whoops. Also going on about those plums again. Everybody loves those pagan plums. Not just Garrett. So, with that completed, I'll just go over here and gather my body and continue downstairs. Oh, hey. That must be the woman who fell down from the upper floor. Which means there are a total of three random pagan bodies just glittered about the area. Already dead before Garrett could do anything about it. My eyes be tired, I guess. Uh, sure thing. Definitely didn't see someone drop a body. Six. Oh wow. Well. It's good enough for expert. It's good enough for me. That, by the way, is a repeat of the thing that was just above the, the tunnel entrance. So I don't need to read that again. Make sure nobody's looking at that torch. Good. Now, so I can get that sneak attack damage, I believe I will attack the tree beast first. Uh, aim too low. The arrows fly are straighter in three than they do in two, but they still fall. That some oh, there. Ah, that guy. I bees hear that, you know. Slitherer. Yeah, you hear that, but you sure don't see anything now, do you? Well, while I wait for that shaman to calm back down, I suppose I can start the first two parts of the ritual. See that they've got a couple of convenient crystals just next to it. 
but when you've already got the stuff, there's no need to walk up. Now, come on over this way, shaman. Go ahead, give up. I'm already gone. That's it. Now just wander over this way. Come on. Your patrol is almost over, you know. No need to worry. Everything is under control. Life of a shaman is hard, isn't it? Why don't you take a break? Get a nice long nap. <coughs> take a rest. Now with everyone out of the way, I'll just need to go over here and grab my corpse. And drop it on the altar. No need to cause any fresh blood. It'll just happen. Just so. The Jack Knoll's paw. Well, I guess he's not using it any longer. Now it's just a mad dash to the exit. Nothing's in the way to stop me. Not any longer. Fortunately, I'm not going to have to cross through the pagan tunnels in addition to the entire mansion map here. As soon as I go into the ladder, the mission will end. It's nice and convenient, unless you're looking to get 100% of the loot, in which case it's kind of annoying because you can't double back, at least not after getting the Jacknaw's paw. But like I said, 96 is good enough. So this is the Jacknaw's paw. Keepers will be happy, but I doubt the pagans will be as pleased. There are more of them in the city than anyone knew, and now their secret's out. I just hope that when they go hunting for their property, they don't come looking for me, too. Only caught once. Three opponents killed, those are the three tree beasts. Five bodies discovered, that's a lot. No damage. I figured I might as well show you the notes here. See you in the city.